Welcome back to the Big Saturday Show. The Biden administration is trying to avoid answering for its failing agenda. Let's listen. It's been more than two weeks since President Biden had a call with Xi, and uh, on that call we know he did not press him to help with the COVID origins investigation because you said that Xi just understands he's supposed to be transparent. So, in the two plus weeks since, has he helped and been transparent yet? I believe what I said is that we have pressed for this repeatedly. I don't unfortunately have any updates on uh, the participation or willingness of the Chinese to add and provide additional data. Can I provide one other update to you since you asked me about crime yesterday? and I have a little more information for you. Um, about crime? My question was about she. Oh, well, you asked me a question about crime yesterday. Okay. So I was going to give you a little, a little extra okay. information. I followed up for you, right. Peter. You. I learned afterwards is that um, the Justice Department, the FBI, and the federal law enforcement have been in touch, in contact with jurisdictions where we have seen uh, this high level of retail theft. Thank you for that. Uh, we will include that in our I look coverage. forward to seeing it on Fox later today. <laughs> it's on Fox right now. Okay, I, I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and it was, it's it was on definitely, Fox right now. <laughs> yeah, it's on Fox right now. So I hope the press secretary was watching. We're, we're happy to cover your answer there. Um, Asha, I'm I want sure to go to you was. first. <laughs> You're there in D.C. You talk to the White House press team for Fox. You see what's happening. Yeah. That was the press secretary basically kind of circumventing an answer yesterday and bringing something back today. We've got crisis, I mean, everywhere. Is it your understanding that the White House and, and President Biden specifically is really kind of running from these failing policies? Well, you know, I don't know why Jen Psaki wasn't quite seemingly prepared for, for that question or the one the day before. There's, yeah. there's two instances where she wasn't quite prepared. Um, I did find out from the White House team that she did circle back after Peter originally asked a question about the lootings happening across those major cities. Uh, th the White House team did circle back with him. And then Jen Psaki went on TV and added more additional information on camera. But look, um, to your point, this is not a random one-off robbery. This is a trend now. This is a nationwide trend that's happening in large cities right before the holiday season. It's a big enough story. It, turn on the TV, any channel. People are talking about it. So you would think that a reporter would bring this up, and you would think that the White House press corps or the press team would be prepared for it. I don't know why maybe they weren't, but I do think that it was a missed opportunity because the answer that came later, the second day, was a pretty solid answer. It just would have had more of an impact uh, for this administration that, you know, quite frankly, is looking for points, you know. Um, so I, I, <laughs> yeah. just, I just think it was a really unfortunate missed opportunity. Yeah, well, you're exactly right. As far as they are, they're looking for ways to maybe get a messaging win. I don't think they're looking for policy wins Struggling. because their policies are failing. And Leo, you're, you're there in Los Angeles, and it kind of dawned on me today, Los Angeles is the crossroads of just about every major crisis we have. We've got the looting and the crime where they've decriminalized theft. We've got gas prices are reportedly over $5 a gallon. I'm not out there, so I don't know that. Um, the state itself has passed laws to make this worse, and now even the border crisis really is going to affect California before anywhere. The port of Los Angeles is not doing a good job with supply chain. You're there please, in L.A. Please, stop, 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 please. Why please. are you there, Leo? What's asked, going I, on? <laughs> Look, well, I, the, asked, I asked Aisha, I, I asked Aisha before, before the show started, can she come to L.A.? She said no. No. California is <laughs> a disaster. You. Well, here's, <laughs> here's the question, is a Leo. Disaster. Are Californians, yeah. are they getting what they asked for? Is this what they asked for as Democratic voters, a largely blue state? You know, we had the recall, Gavin Newsom still in office. These district attorneys are, are kind of talking out both sides of their mouth. Are you guys leading the country and seeing, hey, this is not what we want? Are Californians going to turn the page and help save the country in 2022? Uh, 2022? Uh I hope so. I mean, California is a disaster. People are leaving California. We have the worst of everything. We have a, a, a governor who apparently thinks he's a dictator. We're under emergency rules by this governor. When Jan Psaki said that basically that uh, the crime is the root of the pandemic, that's a lie. That's an outright <laughs> lie. People aren't stealing because of the pandemic. They're, they're not stealing because they're, they're starving for bread. They're stealing Louis Vuitton, Gucci. It's a disaster out here. There's no support by the prosecutors to put these criminals away. We have well, this smash and grab. 14 yeah, people and, and were arrested. Blows they were my released. Mind. They were this... released immediately.
is $900 per time you go out. You know, Laura, if this were happening in New York the way it's happening in L.A., I mean, how would you guys survive up there? I go to New York about once a month, and uh, I'll tell you, I don't see smash and grab. I mean, California is leading the country in something, I guess. I don't know. What, could, what would President Trump do differently? Oh, my gosh. I mean, where, how much time do we have? I know we got to get to a break, so we don't even have enough time, Joey. Look, the reality is that, that bad things are happening in New York, too. You see people getting assaulted every single day. Maybe it's not the exact smash and grab situation as in California, but there's one thing that all of these areas have in common. They are Democrat-run cities, Democrat-run states, and unfortunately, it is their policies that have led to the destruction of our great American cities. It is why people are moving out of them at record rates. It is why a congressional seat was lost from the state of California. Yeah. It is why people do not want to live in these cities anymore. You can't live somewhere where you don't have safety and security. So look, at the end of the day, we could go through what President Trump would do. We all know he would not be putting up with this mess for a single second. I, I believe that. And unfortunately, it's the, the Democratic states that are actually doing the, the most harm here. Um, and so, and then lastly, you know, we have this reporter from, uh, I guess it's News, uh, Today News Africa. And we have a travel ban now because of the Omicron uh, variant of this virus. And I think we have a, we have a soundbite here of, of Jen Psaki speaking with this reporter. Following up, uh, Chris's question. Let, let, let Patsy, I just answered it. Simon, I answered a question on this. Let, Pat, let Patsy. Simon, Simon, I answered a question on this. Let's, let's let Patsy ask a question. It's not effective to scream over your colleagues in here. Yeah, well, and on this, I should write back to you. Uh, what would President Trump had a travel ban? He, he was called racist. It, or what's DC think about this? Do we really think this is going to save us from the coronavirus? Well, I, I think the one thing that that really stuck out to me, um, and it was kind of missed by really every media outlet, nobody really covered it, was the United Nations uh, General Secretary, I believe, even said that this was a really bad idea, and that was uh, for me a big red flag. So, um, but you know what? We, we don't know. We don't know what, what's going to happen. We don't know the, what the White House is going to do. But there are plenty of people saying this is a bad idea. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people are saying that uh, the virus is going to change. We got to live with it. So maybe that's the way we should handle it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.